Welcome, my friends, to our blending lesson today. Today's December 3rd. We're working in Unit 2, Week 5, which is that ch, the w, and the f sound. So f is now spelled with P-H. W, like whale, is spelled with W-H. And ch, like your chin, is either going to be C-H, which, which can come at the beginning or the end of a word, or T-C-H which will only come at the end of a word. All right, so let's get started with our high frequency words. So if you know the word, please say it. If not, make sure you're repeating. Make sure you're really practicing to help you with those words. Again, help, there, could, use, new, one, live, then, of, under, three, like the number, no, who, eat, call, want, all, her, day, place, around, many, by, and walk. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get started with our blending. First word, pitch. Your turn. P, I, ch, pitch. Like the other day, how... Chet pitched a ball. He says, pa. I says, I, pa, I, he. And T, C, H, ch. So here it is, just like the cheese card, T-C-H, ch, but it only comes at the end of a word. Next word, catch, your turn, ka, a, ch, catch. C says ka. A says a, k, a, ka. And T, C, H, ch, k, a, ch, catch. Got a couple of baseball words here, pitch and catch. All right, next word. When, your turn. Wa, e, n, when. Yesterday, when will the chick hatch? W H like the whale card. What? E says e eh, wa e eh, we. N says n wa e eh, n when. Rich, your turn. Er, I, ch, rich. R says er. I says I, er, I, ri. And C, H, ch, er, itch, rich. All right, wonderful. Let's read our first line. Pitch. Catch, when, rich. Your turn. Wonderful. Thanks so much for your participation. Next word. Graph. Your turn. Gur, a, f, graph. We got some beginning blends in here. G R gur. Remember, we can blend two sounds. G. Er, gur. A says a, gur, a, gur, a. And then ph, a new way to say f, the f sound. Gur, af, graph. Whiz, your turn. Wa, i, z, whiz. I like when someone is really smart.
smart at something. She's a whiz at math. So WH, like the whale card. What? I says I, wa, I, we. Z says z, wa, is, whiz. Whip, your turn. Wa, I, ha, whip. W, H, like the whale card. Wa. I says I, wa, I, we. He says pa, wa, ip, whip. Inch, your turn. I, n, ch, inch, inch. I says I. And says n i n n. C H cha i n ch inch. So this is like one inch. Like if you have your ruler, one inch. That's a measurement. If we're talking about six inches, it's more than one inch. We have to add an e s some lips movement like they already knew what was going on and you can still blend it inches inches but if you see this word you have to make sure you blend through the whole word not just inch you gotta make sure you have that es when you say it as well next word lunch your turn oh uh mm, ch. lunch Lunch. L says ol. U says a uh, ol a uh, la. N says n ol a uh, n lun. C H ch ol a uh, n ch. Lunch, okay. So this is just like my lunch. If I was talking about lunch for all the for everyone in the class, we're talking about our lunches. Where is the class? Where are our lunches? So that means we have to add an e s. O a n c h e s lunches. Next word. Dish, your turn. Da, i, sh, dish. D says da. I says i, da, i, d. And S and H, sh, da, i, sh. Dish. So this is just one dish, like your plate is one dish, but if you're talking about many plates, the dishes, then we are going to add an E S. Like, oh, please wash the dishes, that's more than one. Or please wash your dish after you eat. Next word. Sketch. Your turn. Ska. E, ch, sketch, sketch. So a sketch is like a drawing. S K, ska, ska. It's one of those S blends. E says e, ska, e, ska. E C H Ch Ska E Ch Sketch. Okay, so this is just one sketch. But if I want to talk about how I did a whole bunch of these, then I would have to add an E S to make the word 
sketches. Ska, e, shiz, sketches. High frequency word A. C H Ch. U says a uh, Ch. A uh, Ch. And K, those ending blends where N says N mm, and K says K. N. Mm, Put those two together, nk, ch, a, uh, nk, chunk, a chunk. High frequency word of from this unit, a chunk of. L says ol. U says a. Uh, And says n o a n lun a chunk of ch o a n ch lunch a chunk of lunch. F says e says e f e f. Two L's, we double up on that O, F, E, O, fell. A chunk of lunch fell. High frequency word, I think. On. S, T, st, st, we put those two together, st. See, we already know that whatever this word is, it's going to be a name because we wouldn't ever have a capital letter in the middle of a sentence unless it was a name. E says e, st, e, st. P, H. Steph. Now I want to say that this chunk of lunch belonged to Steph. So when we are showing possession, we need to have an apostrophe and then an S. And then we have Steph, F's, Steph's on Steph's. L says ol. A says a ol a la. P says pa ol a p lap. A chunk of lunch fell on Steph's lap. Your turn. Beautiful. So um, we need some punctuation for our sentence. Put a thumb in the air if you think it's going to be a question mark. Put a thumb in the air if you think it's going to be an exclamation point. And put a thumb in the air if you think it's going to be a period. If you said it's going to be a period, you are absolutely right. This is not really the kind of sentence that you would ever say with a lot of oomph. So we wouldn't have an exclamation point. It's just a telling sentence. It's telling us, oh, I was eating lunch with Steph and a chunk of her sandwich or a chunk of her lunch. It fell down on her lap and she didn't have a napkin there. So her pants got a little dirty. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, nouns. <coughs> so we know that a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So in this sentence, a chunk of lunch fell on Steph's lap. What are our nouns? Uh, lunch is a noun, it's a thing. Okay. Steph is also a noun. It's a person. Lap is, it's, it is a noun, but it's kind of like a, it's a person's lap. It's part of a person. All right. 
Excellent. Thank you so much for your focus and participation. We'll see you later.